there everyone. It is a pleasure to see that you've come to Spectre's Corner. I'm sure you're wondering where Alfie may be. Well don't worry, he's just taking a small break. He's giving me the opportunity to try this out. I hope I don't disappoint. Well anyway, let's channel Spectre. Alright, I think I may have gotten him. Spectre sir, you are on the air. Oh hey everyone. All of you that are not new to Spectre's Corner, I say welcome back. To all of you who are new, including my little host here, I'd like to say welcome. Alright. Hmm. I'm looking at you though, you must be a friend of Ralphie's. So, anyway, okay. I think we need to get a little serious this time around. Okay, the poem I have for you tonight is called The News. Understand this. This is one of those that will hopefully inspire you to gain up the courage to do what you have to do. Okay. This particular piece, it promotes getting things off of your chest, things that you feel you should finally relinquish. Trust me, my friends, stress can kill you quicker than anything in any gun shop or pharmaceutical. Stress can and will kill you. So here I go, the news. Mom, Dad, please hear my words. For I'm going to tell you something that may seem absurd. I truly love you guys with all of my heart, but what I have to tell you may tear you apart. I am your child and you've brought me through. I honestly don't know what I should do. You are usually the ones with advice, but telling you this makes me think twice. Massive apologies to your sense of pride, but this is something I can't hold inside. I've cried to myself for what must be said. I'd do this easily if no tears were shed, but with hardship comes strength, just as with thickness comes length. Behind the veil of a normal person, I'll never be that meticulous surgeon. I had to keep this secret so deep this hill for you may be too steep. But you have to know what troubles my mind. I hope there's some forgiveness for me you'll find. Mom, Dad, I've learned well from you. It's by your hand I essentially grew. I don't know what I can say or show to completely lessen and soften this blow. I know you love me because you display it. I know there's nothing for me to do but say it. What I have brought here upon you this day is the undeniable truth that I am gay. I love someone and they care about me. The bond between us no one else can see. Mother, father, I need you to talk. I feel so alone on this lifestyle walk. Please don't shun me for I'm still your son. With the looks on your faces I know you're stunned. Can we get past the fact I love my own sex? I'm sorry I didn't turn out the way you'd expect. I know that you care, but this is a bit much. I'm afraid you'll pull away if I reached out to touch. I sat up and cried about your pending reaction. In your working, I'm sure this is a major distraction. Your tempers may flare and be spicy or mild. Just please remember I am still your child. Nothing has to change unless you see it so. I reside in this house, but if I must, I'll go. You've seen what I've strived to be, normal in the eyes of both you and me. These feelings I have just cannot be fought. It's like being the struggling fish that was just caught. I wriggled and turned and tried to free my mind, but in doing so I ended up in a much tougher bind. You used to smile at me and call me your son. We used to play games that were so much fun. I am still that child that you raised. I'm afraid this news may have you dazed. 
Look, guys, I truly do love you dearly, but pretending I'm straight just makes me weary. Your eyes is all I care about now. I don't give a damn about how I look to the town. Both of you are my parents and friends. I just hope that you'll be the same in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the news. I hope it helps you make that final decision to finally tell a person something that you know needs to be said. But also use your best judgment. Because unfortunately, all I can advise you to do is get it out. But if you know who that person is and you know the kind of reactions they are going to have, and if they're negative reactions, then by all means, use your best judgment. Because usually when you tell somebody things, they have to be open-minded enough to accept them. All right. That's enough of my rambling. I'll leave you back to our host here. And it's a pleasure to meet you too, my friend. Oh my bloody goodness. That poem actually spoke to me. I think I may have to catch up with a certain friend of mine. Wow, no wonder Alfie excessively talks about attending the corner. I must say this is pretty fun. Hum. Maybe Ralphie and I can begin tag-teaming this. I will admit though. The disembodied voice of Spectre is very mellow and kind of creepy. <laughs> but anyway good people that is my time. We certainly hope to see you again at Spectre's Corner. Good night. Good day. And sayonara. Oh. Before I go. I know I'm a newbie around here but. Spectre would like you to subscribe and comment. If you do, you will have a chance at gaining a code for PlayStation Plus. On Halloween we will give one lucky person a code via email. To enter, just subscribe and comment on Spectre's Corner videos. If we get lots of subscribers these giveaways will become more frequent. We will also have better things to give along the way. So just subscribe and comment. We gladly await you here at the corner. One of you shall definitely win. So my fine constituents, take care and good luck.